left jab and it came over the top. Yep. Kitakin now, I think, paid the penalty. He slackened off a little bit, Sam. Slowed down, paid the penalty, just lost that round by a whisker. Well, I think we're in for two torrid rounds coming up now. The Padolba, the 11th round coming up. Two rounds to go in this IBF Junior Bantamweight title here live from San Antonio, Texas. I'm Robin Welsh and with me, Sam Smith. Sam. Well, the home crowd, Robert Quiroga's hometown crowd, trying to pump him up as we start the 11th. Well, Robert Quiroga's shorts here, Sam, but they were white when they started. They're a, a beautiful pink shade now. And Barry Yates stopping action momentarily to get some of that coagulant off the side of Robert Quiroga's head. The main reason they do that is not so much that the fighter gets the advantage. The other fighter gets it on his glove. He pokes it in his eyes. He puts it in the other fighter's eyes, and that's not intended where it was supposed to go. There's a lot of steam happening there. And indeed, it is not a pleasant situation. So it's not so much of one fighter getting an advantage over the other. It's just trying to protect both fighters and not and move it away. Kiroga that time slipped a right hand in underneath. Left hand coming over the top. The three judges that we mentioned a moment ago now starting to become a little more antsy on their stools because they are coming close to realizing they have to decide the outcome of a very good tight fight. Well, I think both fighters now realize, Sam, that uh, to pull this out of the bag, definitely, we've got to have some real action from one or the other. They've got to really turn it on. It's so close. To retain his title, Robert Kiroga must rein in these blows in the last four and a half minutes. Kitakim knows he's got to take it. Probably the only way I think is he must put down Robert Kiroga once. Exactly. Either knock him out or put him down on his pants to get a 10-8. Kiroga, you see the heart of the little guy. Kid Akeem, no doubt about where his heart is today. Both fighters have been well focused, both have been well trained, and both have worked extremely hard. Punched by Kiroga, backing up Kitaki momentarily. Kitaki coming back, throwing that right hand still to that left eye. That has been taken very good care of by Beto Martinez in the Robert Kiroga corner. That was a nasty cut in the third. Soon the man coming forward in the 11th, Sam, is Kitaki. He's pushing Robert Kiroga back. He is. And I tell you one thing, if he does go on to win this 11th round, it could be interesting on the score cards as we go to the 12th. We are very, very close here in San Antonio. Robert Kuroga, the champ, is Kid Akeem, the challenger. Closing seconds of the 11th round. Kid Akeem has been very active. Kuroga's come back with some punches of his own. And there's the bell, and we will indeed go to the final three minutes of the world title fight this afternoon. Well, I think, Sam, this is going to be one of those arenas like the Arco in Sacramento. If the champ, Robert Kuroga, doesn't get this, I think we better all jump under the ring because we're going to get a lot of missiles coming in. And it is interesting. It is a 15-minute drive to the airport, a 5 o'clock fight for me, and a 8 o'clock wedding tonight in Dallas, Texas, of my daughter. So this could be interesting. You may be all by yourself, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want the knockout in the ring or the knockout in Dallas? Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Well, ring announcer Gordon Wood doing his part. He'll have them on their feet before they get into the center of the ring of this one. There are the particulars. Anna Fawasi against Kiroga, the champion there. Dancing in the ring. There's the bell. They touch gloves. We're underway on the 12th and final round. On even 11th round on our cards. The challenger up by a point on the cards unofficially. This is for all the marbles. Well, we can see that Akeem has in his mind, Sam. He's coming forward. He's throwing those punches. He's getting out to Robert Kiroga. Robert Kiroga trying to back off, trying to hold off. Akeem once again is in the 11th round, being the aggressor, coming forward. Can he get enough blows in? Can he do something? If he can put Robert Kiroga down for one, I'm sure he's going to take this title. It's going to be very, very close all the way here. 
You can see both fighters still going at it. Tooth and nail in the 12th. Kiroga trying to muster all of the stamina inside of that five foot one body of his. Akita King towering over him by nearly four or five inches. Looping those big long left and right arms. The judges, their eyes firmly attached to the fighters and now Kitta King with some tape and the momentum of the 12th round spoiled for the moment. Second stoppage like this. Oh. The crowd not liking that. We were in full swing there, Sam. I don't think it would have made any difference at this stage of the fight. Tape has been completed. Blood streaming from the eye of the champion Robert Kiroga. The challenger, Kid Akeem, from Nigeria, fighting out of Las Vegas. Kiroga trying to satisfy the hometown crowd. Hometown crowd a little stunned. Not a lot of noise coming at the moment with only Whoa. half of the round to go. Great combination there for Kid Akeem. Left and right, he's pushing Robert Kiroga across the ring. Robert Kiroga trying to come back, trying to dig in, but not making it. Kid Akeem there with that bent left, pushing it out, falling up by the right occasionally. There we saw it again. Left, right. He's digging those punches in, Sam. Robert Kiroga, that cut is getting worse and worse. He's just going to about make it to the end of the 12. There you see it, a minute to go in the 12th and final round. Kid Akeem has done nothing more than to challenge and challenge big time as now the crowd does come alive. Kiroga answers the challenge. Kid Akeem takes the punches and comes out swinging. Half a minute to go in the fight. A real great professional fight this Sam. A tribute to professional boxing. We've seen guys who've come here to work, who've come here to get on with it, who've come here to punch. And these two guys have really done it. Akeem coming forward again. Blood glistening around his lips. Robert Kiroga, the blood going down the side of his face. A real river of blood there. Kiroga trying to put it on. Missing, putting those blows in. We're getting all sorts of missiles coming in, Sam. And the war is just about over. The final punches have been thrown, and it is over in San Antonio. Two game, game challengers. Have battled tooth and nail for 12 consecutive rounds. And now it rests in the hands of three judges to see if Robert Kiroga maintains his title or if we have a new world champion in the making in Kid Akeem out of Fawasi. You take a look at Anna Fawasi being administered to here by Ace Murata. Across the way, that of course is Robert Kiroga. Kiroga 17 and 0, 23 and 0 for the challenger, Kid Akeem, as he came into this fight. And a mass of bodies representing the two camps are in the ring right now. You see the exchange of punches here. Again, a big right hand over the top by Robert Kiroga. A bloody mess since the third round. They worked gallantly on that cut. But Kid Akeem continued to throw that right hand, and it was nothing but a landing area on the left eye. As you take a look at them still working on that cut here at the end of the fight. Robin Welch is up in the ring right now. Robin, can you hear me up there all right? Sure, Sam, I can hear. There's pandemonium going in the ring here. Well, of course, in San Antonio, they're raising their hometown favorite, Robert Kiroga, over their shoulders in anticipation while this man from Nigeria originally, fighting out of Las Vegas now. That's Kid Akeem, has to wait and see if he has stolen one in the hometown of the champion. So up here, that cut was really bad. Now we're so close, I can see it really very, very deep. I think it's a wonder he kept going. There are two very deep cuts on that eye. The judges had tabulated the cards. The ring announcer, Gordon Ward, is stepping center ring. And the anticipation and the butterflies of these two fighters will soon be over as we will have the announcement of the results of the fight. Up here, Kid Akeem, I think, is complaining about his right hand. I think he may have damaged it during the fight. He's saying to his handlers, it hurts. 
He's almost got tears in his eyes here. He doesn't know whether he's hurt his hand, won the title or what at this day, Sam. But very, very dramatic for him. Again, as fighters exchange handshakes, cordialities, and the judges tabulate the card, what happens now? Does Kiroga maintain the title, or is there a new champion? Is there a rematch, possibly, between these two? Let's find out. Gordon Wood with the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 exciting championship rounds of boxing, I have the decision by judges as follows. Judge Torin Hanson, he scores about 115, 114. Judge David McCullough, he scores about 116, 112, as does Judge Jim Trailer. He too scores about 116, 112, 